Hello everyone welcome to Immigration Insights CA. In this video, I'm going to talk about Saskatchewan introduces two new PNP pathways for skilled newcomers. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, please watch this video all the way to the end. For the most recent immigration news and updates, please like and share to this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button icon of the notification bell. On August 30th, the government of Saskatchewan introduced two new pathways under the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program, SINP, aimed at newcomers in health care and agriculture occupations. Jeremy Harrison, Saskatchewan's Immigration and Career Training Minister, emphasized that these new pathways align the province's immigration program with its current workforce needs. With labor shortages reported across the country, creating new provincial immigration pathways and streamlining our credential recognition process will help employers in Saskatchewan acquire the workforce needed to grow their businesses, he stated. Agriculture Talent Pathway This pathway is designed to address the growing demand for labor in Saskatchewan's agricultural sector. Agriculture plays a vital role in the province's economy, with over $3.2 billion in exports from four key crop product sectors in 2023. The new pathway seeks to fill emerging and in-demand jobs within the agriculture industry. Health Talent Pathway This pathway supports Saskatchewan's Health Human Resources, HHR, action plan by consolidating all health care recruitment under one streamlined stream within the SINP. Eligibility Criteria Agriculture Talent Pathway To qualify, candidates must meet the following requirements. A minimum Canadian language benchmark, CLB, score of 4, although some employers or regulators may require a higher score. Completion of secondary school or higher level education. At least one year of full-time work experience in the intended occupation within the last three years, or six months, 780 hours, of full-time work experience with the employer providing the job approval letter. This work experience does not need to be consecutive. Proof of intent to work and reside in Saskatchewan. A valid offer for a permanent, full-time job in Saskatchewan's agricultural sector, supported by a SINP job approval letter. Health Talent Pathway Eligibility for the Health Talent Pathway varies based on whether candidates have an application in the Federal Express Entry Pool. Common requirements for both categories include Eligibility for Saskatchewan licensing, if applicable to the occupation. Post-secondary education relevant to the job offered, e.g., master's or bachelor's degree, or a two- or three-year diploma from a recognized institution. Proof of intent to work and reside in Saskatchewan. For candidates not eligible for express entry, additional requirements include a minimum CLB score of 5 in English or French, some employers may ask for higher scores. If applying from within Saskatchewan, Candidates must have at least six months, 780 hours, of full-time work experience, 30-plus hours per week, with the employer providing the job approval letter. If not, they must have at least one year of work experience in the occupation within the last five years. Candidates in the express entry pool must have a valid express entry profile number and job seeker code, possess a CLB score of seven or higher in English or French, have at least one year of high-skilled work experience within the last five years in their intended occupation. About the SINP In 2023, Saskatchewan welcomed 7,350 newcomers through the SINP, with an allocation of 8,000 nominations from Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, for 2024. The province anticipates nearly 20,000 newcomers by the end of 2025, as the nomination allocation is expected to increase to 8,500. Saskatchewan is becoming a popular destination for immigrants due to its affordable cost of living, lower housing prices compared to other major Canadian cities, a low provincial tax rate, and the Graduate Retention Program, which offers up to $20,000 in tuition fee refunds for eligible graduates who live and work in the province. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, Please like, share, and subscribe for more tips and information on living and working in Canada.
If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you. See you in the next video.